The difference between a Zack Snyder fan and a James Gunn cultist. What's going on, everybody? Hit that subscribe, turn that notification on, and let's get into it. All right, so look, the difference between the two. First, let's start off with the negative. The negative is that 95% of James Gunn supporters are toxic, are evil, are disgusting, are vile, and they support everything that's disgusting because it's in their nature and that's who they are. They can't be otherwise. They're toxic and they rot in their own acid. And then on top of that, they criticize you for you having an opinion. They're SJW supporters, agenda filled, and all they want is for you to have the same mentality as them. And if you think otherwise, then you're the problem. It's a joke. That's what they are. They're all bozos. They're all clowns. And they're all a cult because they all want to live in this little utopia that they think that they're entitled to. And that's the problem with them. Now, let's look at the positive when it comes to being a Snyder fan. When we Snyder fans support Zack Snyder, that's what we do. We support Zack to the fullest. Of course, all his films that he puts out, they're not all going to be the best. But when it comes down to what we support and what we like, we enjoy what Zack has given us. And every time that he puts out something, we're going to watch it and we're going to support it. And like I've said it before, and I'll repeat myself, I'm a zombie fan, but I don't like Army of the Dead. And that's from Zack Snyder. Now, if you're talking Dawn of the Dead, let's go. That's one of my favorite movies that he's put out. When it comes to what Zack did at WB with DC, that was lit. That was fire. That was quality. That was awesome. That was amazing. And that right there was true cinema. Because let's not forget, who appointed and told WB to use Zack Snyder when it was starting off with the DCEU with Man of Steel? That's right, Zack Snyder. Because we already know that Christopher Nolan had just finished doing the Dark Knight trilogy. So he appointed Zack Snyder and left him in charge to start a new cinematic universe. But everything went downhill because of WB and the executives in the office. So everything happened with WB and the DCEU because of WB, not Zack Snyder. Because the problem is that WB wanted to be, and they're still trying to be like Marvel, and it doesn't work at DC. The Marvel formula only works over at Marvel with Disney, not here at DC. I am a DC fan. I'm also a Marvel fan. I like both, 50-50. But I prefer DC more because of the quality. And I prefer live action, the cinematic universe that we got with Zack Snyder and David Ayer. Because both had a shared but different universe. And it all connected. Giving us their own take on what they wanted to give us with these characters. A lot of people and majority of the toxic James Gunn cultists always want to argue an invalid excuse. And then they come with an excuse that nobody asked for their opinion. And then they go and try to make videos about my opinion. And it's ridiculous. These clowns are all the same. They all run in their circle inside of their circus. And then they're all crammed up in their little clown car because that's what they are. They're all bozos. The quality that Zack Snyder gave us with Batman vs. Superman, Man of Steel, Zack Snyder's Justice League, Wonder Woman, even though that was directed by Patty Jenkins, but she was consulting Zack Snyder, the same thing with James Wan. He did Aquaman. We were on the path to greatness. And everything went down because of WB. So you gotta hold the studio accountable for what happened. It's not Zack's fault. This is why Netflix is winning with all the IPs that Zack is putting out there. And they continue to expand more within the brand of Zack Snyder because now they're working on different projects and more are coming out. So you can't stop the Snyderverse, baby. On the contrary, we continue to grow, we continue to expand, and there's no stopping us because we the fans will stop at nothing. And that's the beauty because we the fans know what we like and we know what we will support and that's Zack Snyder as always hit that subscribe drop your comments and until next time